Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar run for the UK V, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days as it is turning cooler especially compared to last week but it's still going to generally be around average especially in the south maybe more below average in terms of temperatures further northwards and we are going to see some rain but actually for most it's still going to be a pretty dry next five days or so definitely high risk of showers high risk of thicker cloud but to be honest it's not actually looking as bad as we thought it was going to be a few days ago things are definitely looking a little bit brighter and a little drier uh, as a result of the pressure not being quite as low and the center of the lower pressure being further away as we head into early July, uh, especially as we head into that medium to longer term, around that 5th to 15th point, we are seeing signs that we can actually see proper higher pressure building in, which would turn things bone dry and could turn things much warmer. We did see hints yesterday with the first run for a while from the GFS pushing a proper area of high pressure over towards us. And we're actually seeing a similar pattern today from the GFS. And it actually does get some very hot air close to us now it doesn't get it over onto our shores but it has temperatures around 30 to 35 degree mark just in the near continent we'd probably be around the mid 20s by this point but it definitely shows signs that we could see something at least a lot warmer and drier towards that around that 10th of july point and maybe potentially even hotter if we did see those very hot air masses moving in definitely trending that way could change but that's what we're seeing at the moment so do remember if you enjoy my videos make sure you like and subscribe and remember to follow me on twitter as well the links in description now if you start on the live radar you can see we've got mixed of conditions today to the north and the south of this area of rain and cloud it's not actually too bad lots of sunshine yes some cloud around but of course it is end of june now so the sun is very strong and when we ever we see sunshine even if the air mass isn't insanely warm it still feels pretty decent out there and that's what we're seeing however under this rain and cloud it is uh, much more miserable and there's some heavier pulses in here and just generally the thicker cloud associated with this will keep those temperatures down and we can see that this afternoon by putting on those two meter temperatures you can see in the south and the east fairly warm actually temperatures into the low 20s maybe even mid 20s in a few spots under that weather front much cooler across southern ireland north wales and northern england and then as we get into scotland it does warm up a little bit as well not as warm in the far southeast and that's because it is behind the weather front so in a cooler air mass but it is generally brighter and still isn't too bad at least uh, at least for this region now if you have a look at the latest ukv you can see as we head through the coming hours that rain will continue but it should slowly peter away as we head into sunday it could bring a little bit of drizzle and some thicker cloud further southwards overnight but really again not delivering anything too bad as we end of sunday more thicker cloud around but not too bad in terms of showers very few showers uh mainly focused across northern england but even there even there it is uh, few and far between and then as we slowly head into monday uh, again more rain coming in from the west and it could be a bit of a rainy morning but you can see it peters out through the afternoon so for the first of july first day of generally the hottest month of the year it is not great but it's not poor either yes thicker cloud a few outbreaks of rain temperatures around average uh, so really nothing too bad as we're into tuesday the 2nd of july a few more showers around but, but there's breaks in the cloud and again a bit of sunshine again nothing great nothing bad that's kind of the, the theme over the next sort of five days or so and then finally into wednesday again thicker cloud especially across england and wales maybe some more persistent rain with some heavier showers across scotland um, but again most areas still seeing relatively dry conditions and temperatures would again be around average now if you have a look at those max temperatures you can see this afternoon saturday afternoon temperatures around that 23 or 24 degree mark in the far southeast so generally average to actually maybe nudging a degree above average in that far southeast corner you see the weather front across northern england north wales and parts of the republic of ireland keeping things in the teens and then to the north of the weather front temperatures up into the higher teens so a little bit better there but of course in a cooler air mass it's inevitably inevitably going to be a little bit chillier as we head into sunday uh, again temperatures not terrible because of more thicker cloud they may struggle to get much above the high teens and now this is looking more slightly below average but again if we see a bit of sunshine it will still feel pretty decent 
As we enter the first day of July, the first day, as I said, of the warmest month of the year, again, temperatures hovering around that high teens to low 20s mark, again, will be dependent on the cloud amounts and any of that lighter precipitation moving through. I'll have to keep a close eye on that and I'll update you on that tomorrow, as that could, would make maybe a five degree temperature swing um, in places. Um, but regardless, most areas, again, around average or slightly below average. Into Tuesday, uh, similar conditions uh, by the afternoon. Temperatures rising to as high as maybe 21, 22 in the far south. Many areas, again, high teens or touching 20 degrees. And the same could be said for Wednesday, where again, maybe slightly higher in the far east, but most areas, again, in those teens to high teens, maybe touching 20 degrees. So again, hovering around average or slightly below average. Not particularly terrible in terms of the temperatures. Yes, not heat wave, not into the mid 20s for all, uh, like we saw last week, but still not too bad in the grand scheme of things, especially when you know, six to eight months of the year we hardly get above the low teens. High teens uh, with generally dry conditions, we can't really complain too much about that. And as I said, the precipitation isn't looking anywhere near as high as we thought this time last week, or, um, or sorry, sorry, sort of middle of last week when we're looking. Uh, early next week so yeah it doesn't look too bad if we're being honest and as i said things are looking on the up as we head into the longer term as well now if you have a look at the gfs six o'clock run uh, the midday run has always uh, running but unfortunately only goes out to about 200 hours at this point uh, and we're more concentrated on this run at least having it have a look at those final sort of five days or so that's where we're seeing any major change the next sort of seven days looks fairly similar um uh, to what we've had recently uh, and what we're going to see over the next couple of days. There's no real point looking at that in too much detail because you can see here, we get up to day seven and we're continuing with this northwesterly flow, low pressure to our north, high pressure to our south, kind of in between the two weather systems, meaning there'll be showers around, also dry conditions, temperatures average to slightly below average. It's as we head into next weekend and the weekend uh, and the week, sorry, beyond that, we start to see high pressure making a return. We see a bit of low pressure diving to our south and this starts to draw up warmer air from North Africa and the Mediterranean, pressure building across much of Europe. And on the 500 HPA heights here, it doesn't look like anything too exceptional is going on. But if we put on the air masses, look at all of that heat that is building across much of Europe. And you can see strong contrast to now where there's a little bit of a heat plume moving up into Italy, but nowhere near as widespread as it is here towards the middle of July. Now, yes, we are heading into the peak times of summer, so it's inevitably, inevitably going to warm up, but it's the size of this air mass and the intensity of it, which does give indications that it could be turning much warmer or hotter if we did even draw up a one or two day southerly wind. And you can see this on the temperature deviation. We have got blues nearby to us towards Scandinavia, but look at those dark oranges and reds developing there very hot indeed across much of southern europe heading into france switzerland italy there even into southern parts of germany so not too far away from england and wales all we need is a slight tilt in those ice paths to push up a slight south or southeasterly wind and we would be going very hot indeed regardless of what is happening across uh, mainland Europe, we'd still be fairly warm. Look at that mid to high 20s because we are still on the periphery of that air mass. So we're still seeing warmer conditions. So the GFS here does go drier and does go much warmer. Uh, a few odd showers around again. It's uh, Of course, we are going to see thunderstorms whenever we see this sort of heat and then any instability mixing in, but generally drier and turning a lot warmer. So following on from yesterday's video, looking pretty positive and we can see more of that on the ensembles at the end of the video. Now, if you compare to the latest GM, again, the midday run is only going out to 180 hours. Uh, so we'll have a look at the midnight run as well, because this only gets out to next Sunday. But even here by next Sunday, we are building higher pressure in, and it is wafting up with a warmer air mass. You can see this from the temperature deviation developing above average. Um, so again, even up to sort of day seven to day eight, starting to improve, starting to turn a bit warmer and drier. If you do have a look at the midnight run, you can see not quite as strong as with that higher pressure, does delay it a little bit, but towards day 10, it starts to get there, especially across Europe. And you can see that hot air is very close by. Not quite as hot as the GFS, but you can see here, it's six to eight degrees above average, and it is slowly nudging our way. So again, tentative signs, like warm and dry there from the GM. 
Finally, if we compare it to the ECMW African at the midnight run again here, again, low pressure coming in, coming and going over the next sort of week or so. And you can see it's a little bit stronger, perhaps later in uh, this upcoming week. I we'll have to keep a close eye on that. It's quite some, some quite strong isobars there across northern England and Scotland. But as we head towards day 10, low pressure eventually clears and we do see a bit of a ridge of higher pressure. Not a massive ridge. And we're not seeing very warm air move up into Europe yet. But again, intensive signs, high pressure could be making a uh, reappearance here. We'll have to keep a very close eye on it. And as I said, it's the ensembles that are really giving us a little bit of confidence. If we look at the latest six o'clock ensembles from the GFS, around average or below average over the next week, heading out to around the 6th, 7th, 8th of July. Precipitation not massive, but not minimal. And then as we head towards that 9th, 10th, we go back above average and stay around average or above average. We see quite a few runs, including that operational run just trending slightly higher, trending back towards the double digits, which again would allow temperatures to get toward the mid-20s in the south. And again, precipitation increasing a little bit, indicative of warmer, more humid air masses, so it is expected. But definitely tentative signs things are improving. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we did see a big shift at some point in the next couple of days as this gets more into that medium term, into the, sort of the next 10 days or so, if we did see a big shift uh, as it's kind of setting up to be that sort of pattern. Again, it will be very much dependent on what happens to high pressure, low pressure patterns across Northern Europe, as that could make a big difference between thunderstorms and dry conditions and very hot conditions or just warm conditions. Uh, but again, that's something to concentrate on in near the time. If we finally finish by looking at the ECM WF, again, broadly very similar over the next week. And they're around the 8th, 9th, 10th of July. Precipitation increases slightly and the upper air temperatures increase slightly. And you can see again, around five to 10 of those runs getting well above the 50 or getting towards the 15 degree mark and even one or two getting well above it, uh, which would be sort of proper heat wave levels. So again, we'll have to wait and see. It is tentative signs. And if you just looked at this in isolation, you'd say, I'm not saying much in terms of uh, confidence in heat in the longer term, but it's the fact of the trend of the last few days going from below average and now slowly trending to average, and we're starting to see quite a few runs coming above average and some consistency and operational runs like the GFS of something potentially much higher than average. So I have to wait and see. At this size, we are pretty tentative, um, but there is some positivity if you're looking forward to something warmer and drier. But I will continue to emphasize this is in around a week to 10 days' time uh, at the earliest. The next week at least is looking um, similar to what we have right now and over the next few days where it's cooler, not cold, but cooler with showers around. Um, uh, so not too bad, but nothing really to shower home about. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed subscribing new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.